What's happening guys? I am Switters. Welcome back to Life is Strange. We're moving on to episode 2, which is called Out of Time. Uh, at the end of the first episode, the... Can I just continue? Yeah. Uh, the storm was heading for the town again. Um, whether that's truly a literal storm... Um, because she can see the future and, you know, she can rewind time and all that stuff, Max, we're talking about. Um, or if it's just metaphorical and there's, you know, we're finding out some bad stuff. Uh, the girl Rachel's gone missing. Our friend Chloe. In the previous episode the, of Life is Strange. I guess we're about to see. No! Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth, that's an order. I didn't black out, I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. All right, well, there you see where we are. No need for me to ramble on about what happened. You can see it for yourself. Um, very worried that the security guard stepdad, what's his name, David, and that girl, uh, let's snooze. Uh, her classmate, the one that got the paper thrown at her in the very first scene. Really hoping there's not something awful going on there. Uh, I'm assuming maybe then that, um... Do not forget I need those papers before tunnels? tonight. Like, now. 
Fascinating. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. It's done. Hey, I know this girl. We stopped her from getting hit by the football. Ow! Oh. Too late that time. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Let's do it! Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Are you noticing a pattern, girl with the purple hair? Uh, can't we go in there to take a shower? Gross. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Stop being a critic of everything. I'm glad I pissed them off. Oh, here's the showers. What's that? Be alert on campus. Observe the following tips for your safety. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are or where you're going. Always report any incident immediately to the campus authorities to download. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only groups. lonely nerd around here. For sale, bike, got a book club. Thanks for the warning. Vortex club, aha. Uh -huh. Vortex, like the tornado heading for the town. Was that a phone number we're supposed to look at? No. Okay. <clears throat> this girl. Kate is her name? Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Let's remember to do that. Okay, shower time. What's that? Oh, I thought that was like a rumbling. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. She Looks got like this it. paint on her face. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Oh, my God. Did yeah, I, gonna talk I still like have goddamn paint time. all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. What's wrong with Max? I mean, she's a little pretentious. She seems. She's right, a weirdo though. with that dumb camera. I hate that. I'm so quirky. Crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Why don't you think for yourself? <laughs> well, we're going to erase that. I 
I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. <sighs> Oops. I forgot about the water pressure. Whoops. What's that? Some deodorant? Okay, Rachel is a whore. Well, that's not nice. All right, let's go get her book. Yeah, it's the missing person poster. Oh, Rachel, that's the, yeah, that's the girl. The missing girl. What's that? Nobody messes with me, bitch. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Hmm. So is that the Prescott kid? My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. It's not that. Can't search. Search. And nothing here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, should we water the flower again? Can't do it. Never mind. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. So pick it up out of the puddle. What's the matter with you? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I can rewind. I think it's kind of the main thing of the game here. Main point of the game. Move. Be gone, foul soft drink. Yes, very good. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Okay, let's get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Sounds hey, like Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Okay. Let's go to Kate's room. That's Victoria's room. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. That's As Brooks. if I have to worry about being late anymore. Room. I do have all the... What was that? Oh, two from Chloe. Wait. Or I'll know. Wait, I'll be there. Do not be late, or I'll know time is not on your side. After all, you did let step dork bust me on my way. You are evil, or else what? I don't remember all this. Okay. Uh, Keep your mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Okay, so that's obviously the, the Prescott kid, that loser. Uh, Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like oh, no cute. time has passed. Wasn't, oh, okay, it was just to the left, okay. Kate, you in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Aww. Um, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Uh... What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I? Yeah, it's asking. It's not it? saying I will. Just for 
posterity. Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So this guy pulled a Cosby on her and, uh... Well, you know... So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Oh, I think... W if this were real life, I would say go to the police. But since it's a game and we're supposed to search for stuff as a little bit of a detective type of a deal, we're going to look for it, but... If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. It doesn't no, mean she no, did anything Kate. wrong either. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Yeah, that's not how I thought this was going to go. I thought it just meant we were going to go look for some clues. Not for Victoria to just hang tight and... Good job, Dr. Her. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Is she gonna ask again? Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Yeah, so she's in the middle of it. No justice. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Yeah. I put that in there. Oh, okay. Gotta read. So oh, Max, I see. I see. Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. 
I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Yes. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup well. witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Mm. That's really not how life works, but... <clears throat> Let's see if we can find uh, more on our own anyway. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. That's fine. Drag me in. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Oop. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I just received a I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us this evening so we can fully discuss it. I hope you haven't brought shame on. Okay. A lot of s <clears throat> Maybe Excuse Kate me. has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Well, that says to wait. So. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. No, not that. The, the My parents photo. never once took me to church. The I had photo. nothing to. Damn, it's the all American zombie family. <laughs> what happened to the dude's face in the painting? My goodness. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Yeah, well, there's some bad stuff happening with her right now. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Ouch. She left out amnation. No spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like the Jezebel, <laughs> you, oh my God, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Aunt Marsh, Auntie Marsh. Get over it, lady. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Aw, what do you think its name is? It's Jesus. Hello, Jesus. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Oh, so Stella is the purple hair girl name? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Okay. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Okay, uh, where do we have to be now? Wait, uh, or else Max School, Food, Two Whales. See you there. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Okay. So we're going to breakfast, I guess. I think I'll be way too scared to go. The Black Hell Hall, Halloween, dusk tonight, costume dance party. At the gym? You're too scared to go to the gym? Oh, that's my room. Uh, we gotta go this way. I don't think we have a car, do we? Hey, hey Brooke. Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. 
I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did oh. you talk to him yet? Uh, no, I haven't. No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Radio, Brooke. Taylor's room, board, look. <laughs> HIV and AIDS aren't just initials, that's true. To the bitch that stole my... What? New face cream? Franzu, new face cream? Uh, September 16th. My backpack with all my... T yeah, okay. Alright, uh... Samuel truly charge? is a weirdo. But he is great at cleaning up. Oh, that's the janitor? I guess, the guy that was painting? He did seem peculiar. Everybody in this game seems a little peculiar. There he is. Hey, Sam. Um, how do we get to Sesame Street? <laughs> hey, he knows, but seriously, folks. Um, going to breakfast. Is she going to be waiting for us? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. Not the first student at Blackwood will try this. Yeah, no, no kidding. It's because he's a douchebag. Your son is a douche. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Max, get it's over me. here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's be nice. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it there was we go awesome. Again. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate? What does that mean? An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Um... Yeah, I busted fine. him in a bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Okay. Go take the bus. Yes, let's do that. Don't want to rewind that. I think you're just, you know, be straightforward. You want to go? You go. No need to play coy. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Should we spy on Or Rachel. <clears throat> oh, we're taking the, like, the school bus. We're already at school. They're so rich, they just run it like a shuttle. They got money for everything.
first person and third person shooters and being all hunched over leaning into the screen and now don't try to take to it from kick back and relax mine. a little bit i wouldn't dream of it i'm gonna be a millionaire hope nobody steals my lottery talk team. about going back in time the diner looks exactly the same that guy's gonna win the lottery just like me it's big right now Mega Millions? It's like 450 million or something? That smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silver... Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods. There's more missing posters. It's Trevor, whoever that is. Tucker, cop. Where's my buddy? Fisherman? I am a fisherman. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. This guy has serious coronas. I might make Chloe check this out with me. Yeah. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. But that's why it's cool, man. You'd never know how weird so this town is by these postcards. Cool. Running late, grab a booth. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Waka waka. Okay, so she's running late. Should we say hi? Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. No, I actually didn't. Thought you were staring right at my face. I guess you know now, and so does Justin. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. All right. Can I grab a booth? I'm trying to, oh, there we go. That's her mom, uh, Chloe's mom. Hey, hon, want some coffee? And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. Hey, if you it's work nice in a diner, you gotta have an accent like that. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Mm. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. Yeah, well, I he's see an why. asshole, so. I mean, Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. 
He does care about her, along with all the students at Black Whale. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Oh, bacon omelet. I was yeah. dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. All right, toots. Yeah, I still think David's a douche. Always will be a douche. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. And that's that. Okay. I don't really need One to One bacon omelet for the young lady, Stat. Bacon at 12 o'clock high. Nerd graffiti. I love the delish anticipation of breakfast. Let's have a sip. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. This is all I get to do right now? Window. Order ready. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Incoming! This is my food. Dude, I am starving. I can We're hear your stomach here. rumbling from here, Max. Word. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh god, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot yeah. act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, so panda keychain, cigarettes. Get to it, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. 
Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Dude, I didn't count. Parking ticket. I didn't read well. it. But what is the exact time I was busted? No idea, dude. It's got to be... 6.42 a.m. I don't even think about getting up that early. Okay, psychic girl. Still be out. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. We're going to do it one more okay, time. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. We know this seven. We know this 81 cents. Three quarters a nickel. Six pennies. 921, 1034. Southeast Franklin Street. Out of Parking Bay. Okay. Schkabizzle. Ten thirty-four. So 10 this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Uh, let's do the parking ticket A now, parking so I don't ticket. forget. You know me well, but what is the exact time I was busted? Ten thirty-four. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What does the hell that mean? Seriously, means? that doesn't impress you at all. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? It was 81 cents, not 82. 82 cents. I wish. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. How did I get it wrong? Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and Three don't quarters, forget a anything. Nickel. That's 81. Am I being... Oh, Jesus Christ. How stupid am I? 86 cents. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yep. It's almost midnight. You got this, Max. Anything. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. That's the excuse I'm using. Uh, we gotta get all these. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Money dollars. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Parking A ticket. parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34. 10.34 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Okay. Not bad, Supermax. That only took ten minutes or so. It's all right. Nobody's actually watching this anyway. This is just for me. Amaze balls! I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. 
Okay, good luck to that. Oops! Did Oops. you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Is that it then? Right, ladies going up to the bathroom. Okay. That should be it. That's four things. We got four. Four That's buttons. The best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Okay. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. <clears throat> I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, Trevor drops his glass, Trucker drops his mug. The Trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Uh, alert on cop's radio and he leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Oh, I got it wrong. Uh, Justin Trevor fight and Joyce beats them. <laughs> uh, Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. I don't think the cop left. A fly lands on a butterfly lands as the trucker plays a new song. Uh, dude, I didn't see anybody over there. Uh, but did a butterfly land on it because that we saw the butterfly before? I don't know. The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I wasn't looking at the jukebox, so I have no idea about that one. Oops! Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think Don't not, slap Max. me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Cockroach. I was looking at the lady with the white sweater. This is a That's sad day in Mexico. This is yeah. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Okay, let's try again. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. So the cop got pissed and then he just sat there. Okay. I'm going to predict four. Let's go. Trucker drops the trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Lured on cops radio. He answers. He's a donut, and his partner leaves. I didn't. The read cop all gets of the an emergency options. alert on his okay, radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Joyce stops. Justin on. and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And La Cucaracha. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Well, I must have got it right because it switched the camera. Oops! Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. Should she not this be isn't a toy, way more blown I away by that? I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, 
Check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. I think okay, that's what's causing wonder. a problem. Show me there. the way to Chloe's cave. Is it gonna be one of those kinds of deals where at Chloe the end... Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. We saved the world, but... Um... Okay, Supergirl. But let's go to my secret me. place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and pull to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Oh boy. Which one was Kate? Kate's the one in trouble, so let's help her. Hey Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please. Oh, go you ahead. You are relax. ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Okay, let's go chill and rock. Do a rock and chill. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. Who's this creep? Was that Prescott? No, Kate needs. She's going through some bad, bad stuff. She might have been drugged and raped. I mean, I think we're entering the phone. Chloe can wait two seconds while we talk to her. Let's see what's going on. Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the this revolution, Max. So we should Look figure out how, how to best now. use and abuse your power with a test. Look how I'm sipping now. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. All right, let's go. That doesn't count, plastic. Aw, poor thing. They left you here all alone. It's creepy. See any bottles? Start far and work our way back. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Three. Oh, I see bottle. Hey, squirrel. Hello, Hello. bottle number one. Four more to go. Yes, that is how it works. Although, I shouldn't say anything about counting. Wow, so my... that looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Let's go talk to it. Hey, buddy, where you going? That dough yeah. is the perfect photo op. Let's do a picture, man. It's not even there, bro. It's totally like a hologram. See, told you. Hey, hey, hey. Top right. 
Fire Walk With Me. This is very Twin Peaks. Are these all pictures that we're going to take? Do you think? Huh. We can see the future. Well, no, we can't, actually. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, let's go that way. Okay, okay. Alright. Um, I just can't stand to have... What happened to my picture? Where did my picture go? Whatever, I don't know. Uh, wait, are we supposed to do that though? What page was I on? Wasn't this, there's only one person more apparently that we're gonna meet here. There. Wait, see, but I can't, oh, I can't scroll over to it. Hmm, okay. This was an old school punk shirt. Okay. Great. Let's find a bottle. Can you guys hear Sandy clumping around in the back? In the background here? By the way, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and You'll see some pictures of Sandy. Also, right there on the bottom right hand corner of your screen, there's a picture of her. If you just pat her on the head, you'll subscribe to the channel. It's a great idea. You should do it right now. Okay, that's fantastic. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Let's grab that bottle. Now that you're all subscribed. Boom, only three bottles left. Bottles are hard to find. Get out of here quick. Let's find out what Warren wants uh, as this thing falls. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're going too fast. Uh, we are so going ape. Newburgh is 60 miles. We should leave around five. I drive. Hell yeah. Your new ride. We have some supplies for the drive. Maybe we can have dinner first. Or whatever. Anyway, go eat. Haha, <laughs> too late. Busted. You like Max. You wanna kiss her. I don't want to go that way. Uh oh. How do you know what I wanna do? You should be better at finding bottles then. The hell are they? Is there one in there? All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? Morbid. Syringes, that's no good. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Yes, it is. Very. Gun shells. Those shells look fresh. Not a good Break place time. to hang. Break time. Yeah, here I am scouring for bottles and you're sitting on your ass drinking beer. Hurry up and drink that and we could use one of those. Did you guys see any bottles? Oh man, come on. What's that? No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I oh, loved the Hush Puppies. Awesome. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Yeah, we don't want to go out there. Let's 
green bottles. Green bottles. Looking for bottle. Hey, bottle. It's gonna fall on me. Stupid bottle. Should I rewind time? There's nothing to, to change. Can I move something over? Yes. What sh shouldn't I climb up on it or something? Maybe I can use this to reach the bottle. Yes, that's what I was thinking. But there's no... Oh, she's just gonna step, okay. Alright. Three down, two more to go. Talk about exactly. finding a bottle in a haze. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Ah, oh, they're dead. They're dead now. Beyond repair. Oh, already looked Rest at that. in peace. I didn't realize it was a camera. Washing machine. You see a bottle in there? Any bottles in there? Is there gonna be more like that one just was? It's hard to find, but we have to do some trickery. Nope, I don't want to go there. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Yeah, he died in a car accident. Did we know that? I mean, we knew he was dead, but I don't know that we knew it was from a car wreck. Did we? Maybe, uh, possibly, I don't know. Bottles on the ground. Bottles in the air. Bottles all around, except for where I can find them. Yeah, yeah, no. Alright, now I'm just, I'm seriously, I, I was bored, now I'm just pissed. We, I mean, I know we were here, but... Hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Yeah, that's just crazy to think about. Okay, as far as I can tell, we've looked all over here. Oops, oops, nope. Stump, yes, sit. It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Is like it telling Arcadia you where the bottles Bang's are? Trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. There's another bottle underneath the school bus. Go get it. It's snowing again. Okay, how long are we going to sit here? Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Which means booze bottles. Seriously, we had to just sit and contemplate? We couldn't just look in the boat? Oh my word. Well, there's a boat, but I'm, I'm sure she means the one we looked at before. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Did we already find one that was around here?
Thank God nobody's actually watching me play this. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's the one we found already. Dude, just just shoot three. I don't care. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God, or the gods. So bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Sorry, I've got it on pause here, kind of. Uh, just getting the dog some water. Again, there's nobody watching, so I'm speaking to no one. But just in case, that's what's happening. Could you tell me what the question was? Yeah, no way. The answers. I don't know why. I don't know what. Could always rewind, I guess. Okay, we're, we're back, we're back, we're back. And for anybody, I'm just going to answer yeah. Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. Must Amen. Doth. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh, yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate, which means booze bottles. Okay, I don't know what, uh, oh, this boat. Oh, I see it. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. I bet you could. Climb up there. Do we have to find a ladder? Uh, if you're wondering, like, why does why does your dog not have water? She drinks straight from the tap. Uh -huh. Something her mother taught her. So, but she always she gotta have fresh water. So, dude, where, where is a ladder? That's why. Anyway, that's why I had to go get her a drink. She goes to to the bathroom and she sits and she waits for you to turn on the. Uh, the tap to the bathtub. One she more bottle to go. Right from there. Do you see a ladder? I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Nope. That kind of hurts. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Well, hopefully you never go missing. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble around here. And thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry and I needed a friend. You were there, as usual. Okay. Such great advice about going to the police and telling them everything about Nathan. I so appreciate you standing by me. Keeps my faith. Okay. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? I don't know. Okay, uh...
I'm looking for a ladder. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. Just gonna say I don't want to go that way. I can't, it won't let me just hop up on the car. What was that? Chair. Where's chair? Where? Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Oh, Which shut means up. means booze bottles. Chair, I see the chair. What do you want? Can't do anything about it. it. Won't let me. I can't jump. I can't climb. <sighs> Something up here I can grab. Plank. There we are. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Are you gonna walk across? <laughs> That's doesn't seem like the smartest way to do it, but sure. Let's go ahead. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Yes. Don't fall off. It's gonna break, right? Shocked. Absolutely shocked. Thanks, Max. You're welcome, lazy ass. Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. What are you talking about? Okay. So I have to move her? Show me the way, Max. Oh, uh, you go right. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, She's where do lefty, I aim? Huh? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. I just got all those bottles and you shoot two of them? Give me something to shoot, Max. Shoot, uh... Sh shoot that thing. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. I must rid the world of those bottles. So shoot them. What's going on? Come I didn't on, do Max. that. Rewind and help Chloe aim. For what? She got it already. It didn't go anywhere. I must rid the world of those bottles. Come on, Max. Rewind and help Chloe aim. I'm holding the left trigger. Nothing's happening. The thing's not moving. Oh, there we go. 
Give me something to shoot, Max. Oh, you want to get rid of the... Oh, I see. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. And knock it Sorry, out. Sorry, Mr. Barrel. Your time has bottles. come. Listen to those fat bullet beats! No, I don't... I don't understand what she's supposed to do. She's got to get the bottles. Okay. Blue Give me something to shoot, that, Max. That. That. Shoot Hello. that. Hello. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Wait. So. And it's not the left trigger. It's the left bumper. Give me something to shoot, Max. Oops. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella, yes! Hella. Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, ever? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Oh, shut up. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. That was a whoopsie. Don't play with guns, kids. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! Can it hit me this time? No, oh, okay. You almost killed you that squirrel. You guys better run for cover! Yet the bottle remains. Oh. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Watch out. Okay. Uber cool. Uber. It's I hella cannot uber believe cool. This is for reals. Uh, My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! We need to put her in her place, Chloe. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just... Give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. <laughs> okay. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Uh-oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? 
What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I... Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Hmm. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. He's like an elephant. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time. Brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Uh, Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Alright. Let's go, come on. Step it up, sister. Uh, what happened? What the hell? Oh, she's still on the car. I didn't mean to go back that far. Now we got a groovy photo, at least. Kaplao. It's so cool. Oh my god. Ah, Frank. That was the last person we had to meet, or is there another page? <coughs> I'm so dirty. Uh, Frank isn't as scary as I thought. Pushing no one's up, but like, where's my job? Wine skills for Chloe's movement, though he didn't look like a serial killer. His vibe was bad. I could literally feel the hair in my arms prickling one of the money Chloe, so I didn't make so, so it didn't make sense he would hurt her. But I wasn't gonna take a chance. So yes, I actually threatened him. I don't want Chloe near him ever again since he was wearing one of Rachel Amber's bracelets for what the fuck reasons, I doubt. Chloe will be partying with him anymore. But he's at the top of our suspect list now. Are you ready to do this? We should jet. We have plenty of time to do anything we want whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I oh, flew. Shut up. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Yeah, well, she should go to the cops. 
And that shoots some wow, douchebag in the... Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? Where did Chloe we go? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Yeah, there she is. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time. <clears throat> yeah, we could use a timeout. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. She doesn't me seem too. to give a shit that we're I think. getting nosebleeds and Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers power. like Frank? It's weird. Let's that take she a break keeps and wanting I'll talk. us to abuse, by the way. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Hmm. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. And Kerouac was miserable, by Perfect. the way, when did uh, on the road. Thing. Oh shit! Find something! Free me! Free you? Find something. Okay. From where? Alright, let's look. Come on, Max! Max, you can't just yank Please. Chloe out like a superhero. Move! Okay. You could move faster. Please, get Oh shit, I have the trigger stops on. Crowbar, take. I can definitely use this bad boy. Yeah, let's go then. I don't want 
die here! The train's coming! Max, Max please! Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. I have used the thing. die here! Max, use get me out of here! Get me out of here, Max! How do you use the crowbar? Do I have to use it off a checklist or something? What did that say? Yeah, well... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I need something else too? Oh, she's toast. Oh, I see. Score! <laughs> she's dead. Okay. There's only one way around this. Yeah, I know. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Keep going. Okay. Score! Okay, get inside. Open. Is that what now we're I can use? pull a total MacGyver. Okay. Is there something else we need first? No. Okay. Nothing else? Okay. Okay. Oh. Max! Damn! Something is blocking the drum. Uh oh. Now I can finally move the drum. Max, get me out of here! Get me out of here, Max! Please! I have to help lift Chloe up. Please! Get out of it! Damn. That was close. You saved me again. Crazy. Totally oh, okay. for all those just I random got steps. in my ass and legs, so I wish there I was a less violent way for, for them to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Hmm. I'm guessing that's not gonna be the case. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen. Your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. All right, I'm just gonna say it. I'm not the biggest fan of Chloe there. I know she's got problems and it's messing her up and all that stuff, but she's not taking anything into uh, account as far as uh, how Max feels in her life and what's going on with her. And just completely ignoring the nosebleeds, obviously caused from 
rewinding time. And she just tells her to keep on doing it, and it's just great and wonderful. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Enter the Vortex Club. I don't think so. So are you going hmm. to that Vortex Club? I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. Sweetest outfit? I don't think I want to talk to him right now. Trevor surveys his domain. What's behind Trevor? I saw something. Do we know Courtney? Join us or die. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Um, I do. I'm not anti-infiltrate it. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even uh, have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Shut down, like totally. So you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? <laughs> Prescott Power. Hmm. Douche. Max, can we talk? I didn't press talk, so he's doing Do you mind this. if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Okay. Sit down, science, whatever. I'm in the science lab now. I'm no Schr Schrodinger's kitty. See you soon. <laughs> Schrodinger's cat. I, uh, a get it. <laughs> I still have right. time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. To everybody in this high school just talks about smoking weed, man. That's all they care about. So you can't help me? I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Oh? Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. I'm trying to help. Stop! Don't come near me. I'm trying to help. Don't you want my help? Is this science lab? Miss Grant. Hi, Hi. Miss Grant. Thank Funny, I was Grant. just thinking yeah. about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts. And yours might be the one that decided. What petition? How is your campaign this can't going? Be that hard. It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing here, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. Just give it to me. I'll That's sign how it. they I don't keep even us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, 
It's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Okay, so I'll talk to her when I see her again. Just look, that's it. Speak. Speak! Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer! Perfect timing! I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're oh, screwed. Oh, he's got the Schrodinger's cat t-shirt, too. Have to add either a bit of potassium too. or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. The Max. The cat is both dead and alive. I wasn't paying attention. I'm trying to do something on my desk here. While making smart-ass comments. Okay. Sodium and potassium. Something about that. I don't know. I have a vision. go diem go -diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Kablamo. Yo, that's it. Put your face right over it. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Rewind air. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. Silver hammer. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Yeah, I've used that trick before too. It doesn't work. Weird science. Bring me the brain, Igor. Bring me the brain, Igor. Bring me the brain, Igor. Sorry. <laughs> I just wanted yes, to do that. Yes, I am a scientist. Know. Fuck. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. That's it? That's a minor fail. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Okay. Is that it? Do we have to help him? Should we ask this girl? She knows? Hey, Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Rounding up the day. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Not me. Warren doesn't need my help. The boy knows things. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. What? I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Okay. Anything else to look at? Was that the whole deal with Warren? That's it? I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Well, let's do it. Or nothing will happen at all. Lamo, like hella. Hmm. Is he just gonna say something about a scientist again? That's a minor fail. Bring me the brain, Igor. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Oh, is he excited? Did we do it right? Is that, is that a good thing he's saying? I don't know. What's up, douche? I mean, 
teacher. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? No, because I My didn't take a picture. My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? That's the second time they've used doth, and they are saying it wrong. It's doth. Like does. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She yeah, needs friends and support and now. Too. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. I'm saying this Listen, guy's the bad guy. Should I? Excuse me, and... Max. Hello. Even though security man is a douche, yes. he's gonna come uh, in handy hold on. later. And I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. He'll mean well, you know, whatever. Still, he hit a girl, so that's messed up. But can I spy on this guy? Uh huh. Hey, I'm just using my locker. Who are you? I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Oh, got the blow off there. Hey, what's up, guys? Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Not really. Who are you? Nobody. Okay. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Can't talk to her, so... Dana. You are out of control. Turn left, then right. Shoot. I'm kind of doing like something now, right. Max. You look like ass. Oh, pardon me. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Dana, oh, um, what? Nosing? Nothing? That doesn't say nothing. Nosing? I don't know. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Okay. Hey, purple girl. Alyssa. Always take the shot. Okay. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Word. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. When you're gone. Because Assholes. I'm gonna make sure that you disappear forever.
Poor Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. I agree. Can we not do anything? We can't do anything. What up, Max? Up, kitty cat? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. He has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world. For people to judge? Oh, For people to that? judge. Usually, people... Should I pop the cap in Franklin's ass instead of giving him a gun? No, Chloe, I do not wish that, and neither do you. Is it too late to rewind? <laughs> People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. Ooh. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to... I guess Kate will miss class places. now. Like Max Caulfield, for I'm example, worried about her. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Already Although looked. we don't technically see in monochrome. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Nope. Dismissed. Uh-oh, what did Kate do? See that? Is this for real? It flipped out! I didn't think she was that messed up. Get over there. Let's go help her. I can't run. She can't die. She can't. Jesus. Ugh. Not again. Not now. No, no. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Well, what do I have to do? Oh, man. Okay, I'm not controlling anything now. Is she gonna... Keep figure something out? going, Max. You she's can She's walking through the it. rewind. <clears throat> so there's a bench there on the ground. That's not gonna help anything. I don't see what will. A ladder? What are we gonna do? Do we go in? Yes, okay. Yes! Let's get her and pull her back. This is some heavy shit, man. Oh. What are you? 
you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Oh, Max, great. seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. If I say you're my friend, she's going to ask me like some personal question that I just don't know about her. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, oh, don't ask me any questions, me. please. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, there are billions of videos out there. Yours will fade away like white noise. Oh God, please, Max. You haven't seen the looks I get. Or the laugh. I understand, truly. I, I get bullied too. But this is a blip. Yep, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! Ugh. Uh... Kate, this will crush your father. You think he cares about a video? He loves you unconditionally. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. See? You're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this route. Oh, I don't know. Suicide is a sin, isn't it? If you believe in hell, you might end up there. I don't want that to happen. What difference does it make? I'm already in hell anyway. Oh, no. shit. Well, I don't know Bible and verse, so chapter and verse of the Bible, rather. So I can't quote Matthew or whatever the other fuck was. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. 
As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. <clears throat> Uh, oh, oh, David bullied her. Jefferson made her cry. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her. Would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Uh, I think, I think that was a fairly reasonable outcome for that. I mean, unless we're supposed to get to the very bottom of it, but there's still like three Just chapters sign this left. and you're done with this episode of Law and Order. I don't think so. We have no proof that Nathan dosed her. I'm going with that one. Let's go. Come on. What's the worst that could happen, really? All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. 
All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. I'm leaving it at that. <clears throat> Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. I don't know how so we thank know you for less coming than in. before we started. I think this game just sets out to, like, same thing with Kate. I don't know what I could have done to get her down from the roof. Is that even possible? I'm going to have to look online after this. And the thing with uh, that I said about the teacher first, I mean, that went pretty well. I just well, but... can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight, I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. slash hotshot artist.
Rachel Kelly. Where where is this? Kate. Somebody's keeping a scrapbook of all these girls. That's creepy. Okay, guys, if there's anybody actually still watching, thanks so much for sticking around. If you have stuck around this far, please do like and subscribe the video, and we'll be back again real soon with part three, Chaos Theory. Take care. Be good.